Hey guys, Gerardo, aka Hero from Difference in Skill here, gonna bring you a deck profile. This is gonna be of my Royal Doggies Royal Paladin deck. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be using Beast Knight Garmals to bring out Snow Gals, along with Akane and Alfred, to be able to swarm the field efficiently and to be setting up my field for the very late game. Snow Gals, 6k clean, uh, also gain 1000 power for every other Snow Gal on the field. So if you have three in the back row, you'll be hitting, you'll be boosting. For 8Ks and with cards such as Palamedes and Soul Savior, you'll be able to hit those 21K magic numbers with ease. So without further ado, here we go. Wingo Brave is going to be my starting Vanguard. Uh, it's really, really good when you ride it over with a Royal Paladin card, which is everything in the deck. You're going to be pl pl placing it on the outside rearguard circle. And with it, you'll be able to boost something or you'll be able to attack, uh, to attack with it, boosted by something else to sneak in free damage or force your opponent to guard for a little bit more than they have to. Uh, for giving you the hand advantage in the early game, so we can go brave. Trigger lineup is pretty standard. I got your my four heal, my four draw, four Epona, and four Alabaster to give me eight crit. So it's pretty standard lineup. Um, basically, just eight crit because I want to go on the offensive. It's basically a beatdown deck, so I want to get eight crit, uh, four draw, and uh, four heal. Not much to explain there. Next, we got three Pongol. Where's the third? There we go. Three Pongol. Um, really, really good card. Allows me to search for Soul Savior Dragon by Soul Charging it and then Counter Blasting one. And it's also a 7k booster, so it allows me to hit for 20k with Palamede, Soul Savior, or just basically just 7k boosters are always generally good. Uh, so yeah, Pongol, so I don't get great stuck at grade 3. Gets me Soul Savior, boost for 7k. Next we have three Flash Shield Soul Day, the Royal Paladin Perfect Guard. Um, three right now is working fine for me. Uh, sometimes it can be a little annoying because with my luck, I tend to draw all three at the same time, and I am ending up ditching one of them to be able to use one of them's effect. But uh, I actually want to get a fourth one because, as far as I can see, most of the top Japanese decks play for, and for some reason, I want to be just like the very best that no one ever was. So I do want to get four, but I ran, right now three is running three is fine. So three is sold, day. Eh? Three Marin, four, four Marin, sorry, four Marin. This is going to be my secondary booster if for some reason I've lost a Snow Gal to Kagero or something or I damage checked a few. Uh, uh, Marin is definitely going to be my secondary booster. I mean, it's 8k clean as well, but it's the reason why it's not as good as Snow Gal, in my opinion, is because it's not searchable. I mean, you're going to have to draw it to be able to get it. Uh, and Alfred is the only one that searches, but with Snow Gal, you can get it. You can get it through Beast Like Armal, you can get it through Akane, and you can get it through Alfred. So it really sets you up very nicely. But Marin is definitely a card that I'll be using to boost as well, or also to be um, to ditch it for Beast Like Armal's effects because if I'm not gonna if I'm gonna get a Snow Gal, then I'm not gonna need this. So for Marin, the core of the deck is four Snow Gal, four Garmal, two Akane. Uh, so Snow Gal, like I said before, six hit clean, gain one thousand for every other Snow Gal. Which makes it very, very good. Um, you'll be with three in the back row. You'll be boosting for eight Ks and uh, four Beast Knight Garmals. Garmal is when it's called. You can ditch a card from your hand, for example, this, and I search a Snow Gull from my deck to the field. So it's superior calling it. Very, very good. Allows me to storm the field really, really quickly. And the thing about that is that it's so flexible because the problem I had with my Galahad deck was that it would be. I would always be getting attackers and no boosters, or vice versa. So, well, not always, sometimes. So, what this deck does is, once you have this in your hand, you automatically have a snow gal in the field. So, what's good about this is that with one card, you can set up a whole column, and this is going to stay here too with you until the late game. So, what's so it's so good because with through one card, you set up a whole column, and the snow gals are going to be with you to, for the rest of the game. So we'll be boosting other late game cards such as, you know, Great Threes, Palamedes, Soul Savior, etc. So so it's, it's just really, really good. Allows allows it to be really, really flexible in uh, controlling the field, manipulating the field, how exactly how you want it. And, um, I mean, it's just so good. I mean, you break even through with the Garmal because you are ditching a card, superior call something from your deck. But I could just be ditching anything. I could be ditching a trigger. I could be ditching some, a Great Three if I have too many. I could just be ditching anything that is use, that is useless to me at that point in time to get something that I really, really need, which is a booster. So it's just so good, so good, and uh, extremely flexible, and that's what I love about this deck. So yeah, four Snow Gal, four Beast Knight Garmel, two Akane. Other, two, other grade twos include two Blaster Blade to use up the Counter Blast and to get rid of annoying stuff, such as opposing Palamedes, 
another grade threes and twos, etc. Superior intercepts, stuff like that. So it's 9k power as well, so it's pretty good. For Galatine, uh, the 10k vanilla, boosted by a snow gal, that's 8k. It can hit for a uh, can hit for 18, which is a magic number against 13k vanguards, and just basically any number of snow gal. Like if it's one snow gal, attack for 16, which is magic number for 11k vanguards. Uh, with other one other snow gal, 17, which can attack for magic number against the Majesty Lord, or 18, it can attack for a magic number against cross ride. So uh, snow gals and galatine work very very well to be able to hit for magic numbers. So it's also very good. So four of those. Great threes now. Uh, two Alfred. Alfred is just really, really good card. I mean, in the Vanguard, if your field is full, hit for 20. Um, as a rear guard, and as well as a Vanguard, call it Counterblast 3, call anything from your deck. Now, with this card, I call, let's say I call an Alfred, I need a booster. Let's say I need a booster. I call Alfred, Counterblast 3, call a Garmel. Garmel, ditch a card, call a Snowgal. So with this one card, I managed to get a Garmel and a Snowgal out just by Counterblasting 3 and drawing and ditching a card. So it's just so good, so good. It allows you to set up your field perfectly how you want it, and it sets you up perfectly for the late game. When while other decks are are maybe perhaps uh, what's the word? Ah, struggling. Sorry, I am retarded. Struggling to be uh, setting up their field for the late game. Uh, Alfred, Akane, Garmel just set you up so nicely and allow you to have the the ideal field that you want um, with minimal effort. So two Alfred, two Soul Savior. Uh, very good as a vanguard, can hit for 21 as it gains 3k when it attacks the vanguard. And uh, using its skill, its Soul Blast 5 skill, and gaining 5k to power to other rear guards is a little hard because Wingle Brave does leave your soul, so you're gonna have to get it back either by boosting a Blaster Blade and Soul Charging Wingle Brave and getting Blaster Blade to your hand, or uh, Soul Charging a Margle to, and gaining 3k on something, and then next turn riding Soul Savior Dragon when you do have enough soul. I mean, Pongle also soul charges, but um, yeah, it's a little, it's a little tricky to use this, to use its ability, um, but when you do, and it didn't cost you that many cards from your hand, like, don't go all in and just, like, soul charge three Margles, because that's just stupid, but, uh, but let's say you soul charge one, because you actually would hit a magic number with something, and then next turn you have five soul, then, sure, by all means, go for it. So, uh, yeah, two soul saver dragon, only two, because it can also be searched by Punkle. And lastly, the most broken card in the game, and, uh, in this deck, and, uh, just the best, just the best card in the game. Three Palamedes. Palamedes. Palamedes, why do you exist? This card is just so good. Um, when you have two or more grade three vanguard or rear guards on your side of the field, it gains 3k. Oh, but you need two other grade... No, 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 not two other. This It counts for its own effect. So let's say I have... If I, if I, if I call it as a rear guard, there's already two grade three rear guards or vanguards on my side of the field. Because you have your vanguard... And then you have this, and then boom, gains 3k when it attacks, and it's 10k clean. So behind a Snowgal boosted uh, 8k booster, which is going to be my Snowgal most likely, be swinging for 21 effortlessly. So it's just such a good card. I don't even know why this card exists, um, but yeah, it's just so good. Just basically 13k. It swings for 13k all by itself, and then boosted uh, 21 and it's 13k so it'll hit cross rided vanguards by itself so just call it 5k guard bro by itself it's just so good so good so three patamedes so yeah that's the deck i hope you guys enjoyed it if you like what we do because difference in skill is a group of friends not just me if you like what we do comment rate subscribe also, we'll be doing box openings as well. We also do lots of card fights. We have plenty of those on, on our channel. And we also have um, deck profiles. We'll be starting doing those and other funny comedy, comedy content as well, perhaps coming up in the near future. No spoilers, but yeah. Um, also, check out my blog. I am uh, Hero on Vanguard and Pojo. I do advertise my blog there a lot. Um, it's Hero CFV, CFV short for Card Fight Vanguard. So it's Hero CFV dot blogspot.com I do deck analysis uh, from uh, decks that top in the Japanese tournaments I talk about the English and Japanese meta I talk about specific cards I do deck profiles and other random tidbits of information here and there so I'm just getting started on it I'll also be spon getting sponsored by an online retailer so I'll be the first to give you guys you know updates on English and Japanese upcoming releases so if you guys like that link will probably be in the description below and uh, yeah, check it out if you like it. Please do follow. Helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, check out the, our channel and my blog. Thank you guys. Hero is out.